friends now we have to solve one trigonometric problem in this problem one condition is given if sin a upon 3 is equal to sin b upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 5 and angles a and b are in second quadrant then we have to prove that 4 cos a plus 3 cos b is equal to minus 5 friends don't forget to subscribe our channel because here we are trying to cover each and every problem of mathematics from class 1 to class 12 with english explanation as well as hindi explanation so friends subscribe our channel and now see the next video first we have to write here given condition sin a upon 3 is equal to sin b upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 5 now we have to find the values of sin a and sin b by using this condition so we have to equate each ratio with 1 upon 5 so equating this we get sin a is equal to 3 upon 5 and sin b is equal to 4 upon 5 now we have values of sin a and sin b by using these values we have to find cos a and cos b so we have to use identity now first for angle a we have to use identity sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 in this identity we know value of sin a and we have to find value of cos a so we have to shift term of sin square a in the right hand side because we know this term and we have to keep cos square a in the left hand side to find its value So we get cos square a is equal to one minus sine square a. Now here we have to substitute the value of sine a in the right hand side, and we know its value three upon five. So substituting this value, we get cos square a is equal to one minus in bracket value of sine a three upon five bracket square. Now solving this. we get cos square a is equal to 1 minus 3 square 9 upon 5 square 25 1 minus 9 upon 25 now by cross multiplying it and solving we get cos square a is equal to 25 over 25 minus 9 that is 16 upon denominator 25 so 16 upon 25 this is the value of cos square a now by taking square root on both the sides we get cos a is equal to 4 upon 5 with negative sign that means cos a is equal to minus 4 upon 5 now see why negative why value of cos a is negative because angle a lies in second quadrant it is given and in second quadrant x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive now x coordinate means cos cos a means x coordinate and that's why value of cos a is negative in second quadrant and so it is minus 4 upon 5 now we have to use same identity for angle b sin square b plus cos square b is equal to 1 now in this identity we know the value of sin b and we have to find the value of cos b so we have to shift term of sin square b in the right hand side so we get cos square b is equal to 1 minus sin square b now here we have to substitute the value of sin b in the right hand side so we get cos square b is equal to 1 minus in bracket value of sin b 4 upon 5 bracket square now solving this bracket we get cos square b is equal to 1 minus 4 square 16 upon 5 square 25 16 upon 25 now in the right hand side we have to solve by cross multiplication so we get cos b is equal to 9 upon 25 now taking square root on both the sides we get cos b is equal to minus 3 upon 5 square root of 9 is 3 square root of 25 is 5 and sin is minus Now see again why it is negative because angle B lies in second quadrant. 
and we know in second quadrant coordinate x is negative and that's why cos b is negative now by using this trigonometric function we have to find which we have to prove here that 4 cos a plus 3 cos b is equal to minus 5 so let us consider left hand side is equal to 4 cos a plus 3 cos b substituting the values of cos a and cos b here we get is equal to first term 4 into value of cos a and we know value of cos a minus 4 upon 5 in bracket plus second term 3 into value of cos b and we know it minus 3 upon 5 so 3 into in bracket minus 3 upon 5 now solving these brackets we get is equal to first term become 4 into 4 4 4 is 16 so minus 16 upon 5 minus second term become 3 into 3 3 is a 9 so minus 9 upon 5 now solving this we get is equal to by adding numerators because denominator is common so by adding numerators minus 16 minus 9 we get minus 25 upon same denominator common denominator 5 now solving this we get minus 25 upon 5 that is equal to minus 5 which is our required right hand side hence we get left hand side is equal to right hand side and hence true friends try to solve this problem again in your notebook for better understanding and don't forget to give like and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.